Chinese electric vehicle brand Nita have just revealed their 1,100 kilometer electric car. And realistically, a lot of claims are being made about ranges in vehicles. You're probably thinking, oh yeah, they're just saying this number. I don't think it's true. But in this case, you'd be wrong. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm the Electric Viking. Great to see you. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Welcome back, everyone else. As you can see, if you're a, not a new subscriber, I'm somewhere else. I'm actually in Bali right now. And today I saw six dogs on a moped. Seriously. Nita has unveiled the Nita S with 1,100 kilometers of range at the auto show in China. How is this car even possible? Is it real? Yeah, actually, it is possible. It is real. And it's thanks to battery technology that's only available in China. Not available in the US, not available in Europe, not available anywhere else except right now, only in China. And there's two different battery companies making batteries that will enable cars to have these kinds of ranges with around 360 watts per kilo of energy density. That means that you shoehorn a massive battery pack into a car, you get this kind of range. Pretty exciting times. The Nita S is a sporty sedan from Hoson Auto. It has a stunning appearance. I've got to admit, it does look good. So who are Nita? Well, I've made a lot of videos about Nita and they're, the reason that I made those videos is because this company is doing big things. Their EV production is ramping up really, really quickly and they plan to make EVs not just for people in China, but for people all over the world. That's why they're relevant. That's why you should watch the videos. That's why you should care. Their first electric vehicle hit the market in 2018. Currently, Nita sells two models, the V Pro and the U Pro. In April of 2022, one of the worst months in electric vehicle history because of the lockdowns going on in China, Nita sold 8,813 electric cars, which is a pretty good number for a startup. In fact, it was more than Neo, Tesla, and Lee Auto. Nita's way of attracting buyers is by giving them a free charging network. So in China, you buy one of these, you get free charging, it's awesome. In addition, you actually get a free home charger and you get 1,000 to 2,000 kilowatt hours per year of free charging at all Nita charges. Now, as you can see, the interior doesn't look cheap. It looks actually a lot better than pretty much every Toyota I've seen on the market right now, period. Probably better than most Hondas, most, in fact, better than most Western cars. I think the interior is really nice. It's got LED running lights, pop out door handles. Obviously you got the door handles that go in like Tesla vehicles in order for the car to be more aerodynamic. And that center screen there, it looks big because it is. It's 17.6 inches. That's massive. It also has a 21 speaker sound system with 1,216 watt output. So what are the specs? Well, um, sorry, I don't know exactly the dimensions of this car yet. Crazy thing is, it's at a motor show. No one's bothered to measure the thing or need to have banned them from doing so. I don't know, weird. But the wheelbase will be somewhere between 2,750 millimeters up to 3,100 millimeters. I know that that's a, doesn't say very much, but we know that because their electric skateboard can work for cars that are between 2750 to 3100 millimeters in the wheelbase. So how exactly are they going to get this kind of range? Well, I believe they're going to put in a 150 kilowatt hour battery pack. In other words, one of the biggest battery packs in the world goes into an electric car. I mean, Neo is doing this as well. Neo are going to use either Goshan High Tech's battery technology, semi-solid state batteries, or We Lion. They've got the same semi-solid state battery technology, pretty similar. They both have 360 watts per kilo of energy density, meaning you're gonna see more and more cars coming out of China with a range over 1,000 kilometers. It really is an exciting time to be alive. And I did say, I've said a number of times that people won't be talking about range much longer. And only a few years, you're gonna see battery packs in cars all over the world. I mean, Volkswagen has 30% ownership stake of Goshan High Tech, so obviously they're gonna use their technology in their cars as well. You're gonna see cars just everywhere with ranges of up to 1,500 kilometers. It's gonna be common to see cars 
with a range of over 1,000 kilometers. It won't be rare anymore. For those who have range anxiety, they have issues with that kind of thing, well, there'll be an electric car for them. They won't have to be concerned. There'll certainly be lots and lots of choices. And that's what's exciting right now. So much choice. I mean, if you've subscribed to this channel, you'll know that there's an incredible amount of choice in China. Maybe not so much in Australia or the US or Europe, but it's all coming soon. Very soon, there'll be hundreds of electric car models available. Stay tuned to this channel to find out what they are, when they're coming out, and if they're going to come to your country. Have a great day. Bye-bye.